Good evening and welcome to the Dave Ray Show. I'm your host, Dave Ray, here with Alicia Harris. She is the director of the Lawrence County Substance <laughs> Abuse Prevention Coalition. Did I get that right? Yes. Okay, yes, you awesome. Did. Well, it's so great to have you on the show. Well, thank you for having me. So, what is the Lawrence County Substance Abuse Prevention Coalition? So, <laughs> we are trying to brand ourselves as LSAP for obvious mm -hmm. reasons. Yes. Um, but when I say it, people are like, what does that mean? So, I have to say it anyway. So the Lawrence County Substance Abuse Prevention Coalition is a community coalition that is trying to prevent some substance mm -hmm. use disorder. And unfortunately, it's an epidemic that we have in our community. Um, our substance use rate is very high. Mm -hmm. Our um, kids in foster care, it's very high. And most of those are due to substance use within the families. Mm -hmm. And so we do programs um, in the schools. We go in and teach prevention curriculum to 12 to 24 year olds. Uh, we have um, lock boxes that we give away. We help to provide the permanent drop lock locations that are in all the municipalities in our county. There are uh, one, yeah, there's one in every single city in the community. Then we also do drug take back days awesome. where if you have unused or expired medication, you can bring it to the drug take back day. We do those twice a year. We partner with all different members of the community to help support them and stop substance use disorder. We also have two new grants um, that allow us to get people into rehabilitation facility. Wow. We have a lifeline coordinator, her name is Ginger Wells, and her job is to get people into rehab. So if you have a family member that is in active addiction, that needs help, they've hit their raw bottom, they're ready to go to a rehab facility, she does all of the hard work for you. Wow. She finds you the place. She gets you the bed. She deals with the insurance. If you don't mm -hmm. have insurance, she deals with that. And she just helps wow. you get to where you need to go. And then she helps literally get you where you need to go yes. by providing transportation mm -hmm. or scheduling transportation for you to get wow. to, to the reha rehabs. And That's then awesome. Nicole Miller is our Drug Endangered Children's Coordinator. Mm -hmm. And if you have children, she can help you get into rehabilitation. She's helped children get into rehabilitation. Um, she's wow. helped a child as young as the age of 13 get into a rehab. And that's, wow. that's the reality of our mm. community. We have 10-year-olds that are using methamphetamines oh, and opioids. Mm. So. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, um, you know, shifting from kind of a, <laughs> that into more as a positive, what do yes. you enjoy most about your job as director? So I enjoy the most about my job is getting to go out into the community, share what we're doing, share that there is hope for this darkness mm -hmm. that we're in in the epidemic. Yes. There, there is evidence-based curriculums that are helping us move to a place where substance use disorder maybe not be an issue mm -hmm. in our community anymore. So earlier, I believe it was this year, maybe it was the end of last year, um, your organization sent out note cards to all the kids in the county. So yes. uh, are you planning to do that again? Yes, so we're going to do that annually awesome. um, during our Drug Endangered Children's Awareness Day. It's going to be called, it's called Positivity Week. Mm -hmm. And so we, the whole community participated in that, and it was wonderful. All these kids got these handwritten notes mm -hmm. from leaders in our community, mm -hmm. and it just gives them a little boost. And, you know, we were kind of worried that it wouldn't be received well, mm -hmm. um, but we heard back from teachers and coaches and things that, Kids were in their offices or in their classrooms talking about these positivity mm -hmm. cards and, and talking about how somebody in the community just took the time out to write a five-second note right. and how much that impacted them. And there were some kids that were on that brink of, of using, of suicide, of mm -hmm. those types of things where those cards really impacted them. So how many cards did you put out? Do you know right off the top of your head? <laughs> There are roughly around 7,000 kids right. in the school wow. system. So, so 7,000 people hand wrote a Yes, note. That's yes. awesome. And I'm glad to see that community involvement in Lawrence County. That fam That family mm -hmm. orientation, I guess is what I'll say. So um, what does your daily schedule look like? I like to ask this question to all of the people who come on the show because I think it's interesting to know what kind of schedule, you know, mm -hmm. you might have on a daily basis. So it just depends. Depends mm -hmm. on the day. Um I typically try to start my morning in the office. Mm -hmm. um, if I have a chamber coffee or something like that, I start it there. Those are always great. Yes, they are. <laughs> They're always wonderful. And so 
but then I'm, I'm making purchase orders. Mm -hmm. I'm doing grant stuff. Mm -hmm. I am in the community. Um, we're, we, we're constantly planning something. Um, right now, we're planning our first fundraiser, and then we just got done planning camps, and we took youth to camp. Um, we're mm -hmm. constantly working with our youth coalition. Wow. I'm in a lot of meetings all day long, meetings mm -hmm. with my staff, meetings with business leaders, with all of our different organizations. Because wow. the way that the coalition's supposed to work is that it's a 12-sector group. Mm -hmm. So um, there's law enforcement, business community, educators, parents, mm -hmm. youth service organizations. Um, I'm going to miss one, I but there's okay. a whole bunch of them. So it's 12 sectors. So everybody has a place. Wow. And the purpose of it is when our grants go away, because they will, they're going to disappear. One of ours only lasts for 10 years and then it's gone forever. Mm. And so the purpose is, is once those grants are gone, that the coalition is so embedded in the community mm -hmm. that it keeps running. That's awesome. And I hope, I hope that's how this works. Yes. And I think it's going to with the way that we're going. So, um, what do you believe is the most problematic substance for Lawrence County that you see, maybe not on a daily basis, but daily basis, but in general? So, um, stimulants mm -hmm. and opioids are our two biggest mm -hmm. things, and that's used by everybody. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, opioids. So, stimulants. So, for people that don't know what classifies as stimulants, it's meth. Um, Adderall, ADHD medications, those kinds of things. Those mm -hmm. are all stimulants. Mm -hmm. um, heroin is considered an opioid. Mm -hmm. And then RX opioids that are prescribed, oh. Roxy's, mm -hmm. um, Oxycontin, Oxycodone, those types of things. Wow. Wow. Mm -mm. So how are you funded? We were kind of talking about grants mm -hmm. and things, but, you know, uh, eventually, how, how are you planning to be funded? So right now, um, we are completely funded by grants. And so we have five grants right now that fund mm -hmm. the coalition, and those are filtered through our county government. So five years ago when this started, the coalition was applied for this grant and got it, and they didn't have a treasure chest because there was a reimbursement grants. Right. Most grants are reimbursement grants, mm -hmm. which means that you have to spend the money, and then the grant gives you the money back. Right. And so the county government filters our grants. Now, we're not really connected to the county government. Mm -hmm. We're our own entity. We have our right. 501c3, but that's how we're paid. Mm -hmm. um, and that's how we'll always be paid. We'll always be paid by grants, mm -hmm. whether it's the grants that we have or the grants that we get in the future. Yeah. All right. So we will be right back after this quick commercial break. Produce and Moore's, a family-owned and operated produce house located at the west end of Lawrence County, Tennessee. Ray's Produce offers a large selection of fresh and local produce and much more. Headed to Laura Hill Lake, we offer a great selection of fish and bait and live worms too. Stop in Monday through Saturday from 9.30 to 5.30 for exceptional customer service and even better produce. Visit us at 42 Chisholm Cross in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. Or give us a call at 931-629-0717. Don't forget, you can find us on Facebook, too. And we're back with Alicia Harris, who is the director of the Lawrence County Substance Abuse Prevention Coalition. That's the yes. third time I've said it. Did I say it correctly? Yes, all three times. All awesome. Three times. Awesome. Awesome. I've got a streak going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're doing better than I do. <laughs> so tell me about the community programs that you offer. So maybe educational programs in the schools or just community programs in general. Okay, so we have programs in the school. We teach the children about addiction in the brain. Uh, we teach them about um, decision-making, and we teach them 
um, about vapes, the dangers of vapes. There's a there's a no perception of harm when it comes to vaping right now, and that's very dangerous for our kids. Um, I explained this to the coalition the other day that if we have in 1960s when my daddy was alive, um, when he was eight years old, he was born in '58. When he was eight years old, he started smoking cigarettes, mm. and you know that's the norm for that generation. And they're still smoking. He's mm. still smoking. Mm. I wish he would quit, but that's neither here nor there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but anyway, so what happens is it took us 100 years to develop a perception of harm for cigarettes. Mm. Well, now in 2021, we have eight-year-olds that are starting to vape. And we oh, don't know what they do. We don't know the harm that they have. We have children in our high schools overdosing and being sent to the hospital mm-hmm. from our high schools from overdosing wow. from vapes. So that is a real big push that we're doing. We have a youth coalition Um, I didn't talk about that just a second ago as one of our sectors, but youth is one of our sectors Mm -hmm. because we are really big about nothing about us without us. And so we really want a very diverse coalition Mm -hmm. because I can't, I'm not super far removed from the youth, but I'm far enough removed that I don't understand what's going on in their Mm -hmm. day-to-day lives. And so they're working on a vape campaign right now that we're going to launch in the school system and countywide. Wow. There'll be billboards, there'll be um, radio commercials, there'll be all kinds of things. Awesome. So they're super excited about that. And so we do a lot of that, educational pieces in the schools. We also um, teach teachers, parents, how to identify awesome. um, substances, how to realize that your child probably has an issue or there are some red flags mm-hmm. to where they're going mm-hmm. towards an issue. Um, Suicide, we partner with Mary and Christian with Suicide Prevention. We train churches on becoming trauma-informed, becoming um, recovery-informed, recovery bases. We are pushing towards that trauma, pushing towards that adverse childhood experiences. Mm -hmm. And so that's one of the reasons that we're starting to fundraise, that we're starting to Mm -hmm. do those kinds of things is because there are grants out there that require us Mm -hmm. to have our own treasure chest Mm -hmm. and to get, because I want full-time therapy trauma therapist on staff for great. these yes for these children mm. that parents have substance use disorder wow that's awesome so are these programs free for the public mm-hmm. everything that we offer is free awesome. our lock boxes are free our programs are free our information's free um, we do free narcan trainings mm. any of those wow. things are free so tell me more about the lock boxes i, I you know some people have a a misconception, I guess, of lock mm-hmm. boxes. So tell me about lock boxes, how, how to properly use them, um, and what things might go with that, I guess. So when you have your lock box, you want to lock up anything that's a narcotic or an addicted medication because what we see is a lot of our children, most of our children that are becoming addicted as adults are pilfering through their family's medicine cabinets, mm-hmm. and that's how they're starting to use and so locking that up, is it's not going to stop somebody that's super determined, mm-hmm. but it's going to put that barrier. You're going to notice that your lockbox is missing. Mm-hmm. You're going to notice that if it's broken, you may not notice that one pill is missing or two pills are missing until the end of the month. Right, until all of them are gone. Mm-hmm. Right. So more about, um, I guess, uh, are, they, are they called depositories, drop boxes? Permanent drop box locations. Yes, yes. so tell me about that. So anybody at any time can go and drop off unused or expired medications at our permanent drop box locations. And you, anything that you feel like you need to drop, you can drop off in there, except for liquids. You can't put liquids in there. Okay. All right. And they take them, they come and get them. The um, DEA, the Drug Enforcement Agency, comes and gets them. Wow. And they incinerate them. Gotcha. They're disposed of properly that Mm -hmm. way. Yes. That's good, good, good. So... Part of your coalition, you know, we as a community have to get involved at some point. Mm -hmm. How can we get involved? So you can come to our quarterly meetings, be a part of our committees, help us know what's going on in the community. Because like I said earlier with the youth, nothing Mm -hmm. nothing about us without us. And that's real big across the coalitions. Mm -hmm. And the reason is, is because we have a very big Amish population. Mm -hmm. Trying to figure out how to meet their needs in substance use Mm -hmm. has been very difficult because getting them to the table is very difficult. Right. And so um, any, but that goes for any of our diverse mm-hmm. populations. The more diverse our coalition is, the more help we can be to them. Wow. So I know, I know, I know your name is Lawrence County, but are you just in Lawrence County? Or you're planning to expand maybe out a little bit or? So we're just in Lawrence County. There is a coalition in Murray County. There's not one in Wayne and Giles, but part of our jobs is to help them establish their own. Excellent. 
Excellent. That's awesome. So this is the part I have been waiting to talk about. I know you have too. So tell us about the fundraiser that's coming up very soon. So we are starting our very first fundraising experience, and it's going to be the first annual duck race. Awesome. Rubber duck race. Uh, rubber duck. Rubber Make ducks. that clear. Rubber Not ducks. real ducks, rubber ducks. <laughs> so we're so, so excited about it. And I brought my paper because I didn't want to get the packages wrong. Hey, that's okay. And we'll throw it up on the screen as she says this because yeah, there's a lot. They're so fun. <laughs> um, so, like I said earlier, we are, the county government has a treasure chest. Mm -hmm. And that's how our reimbursement grants are happening. But we have to have our own. Mm -hmm. We have to have our own because part of our sustainability plan that has to be turned in at the end of the month is oh. separating from our fiscal uh -huh. agent, from the county government being a self-sustaining nonprofit, mm -hmm. which we do have our nonprofit status. So we're, mm -hmm. we're getting there. But now, so now we have to have a treasure chest. Mm -hmm. So we are selling rubber ducks. They're going to race on September 25th at Veterans Park. Awesome. The event's going to start at 1 o'clock. Ducks <clears throat> are dumping into the water at 2.30. So you can purchase ducks. And so the way you do this is you email us, you call us, you get on our Facebook. And this is for businesses or individuals. Businesses, businesses can purchase as well. Yes, awesome. businesses, organizations. Um, if you and your friends just want to have a team, <coughs> you and your friends can mm -hmm. have a team. There is a, the Humane Society does this in Nevada. And if the fire department's watching, I really want you to have a team <laughs> because Nevada's fire department has a team and they're called the Fire Quackers. <laughs> Oh, my and goodness. So I need our fire department to get on board. Oh, please do. And be the fire quackers. And so you can purchase <laughs> ducks. So one duck is $5, and it's called the odd duck. Odd it's duck. just one. Mm -hmm. And then we have a quack pack. That's five ducks for $20. We have a quackers dozen, 13 <laughs> ducks for $50. A beak brigade is 25 ducks for $100. A flock a 50 ducks for $250, and then a three-quarter quacker. This is 75 <laughs> ducks for $350, or a quack ton, which quack is a, <laughs> 150 ducks for $500. And we are a nonprofit, so everything is tax deductible. There you go. Deductible. Deductible. We have a Venmo. <laughs> we have a PayPal. We have all of that. Um, awesome. it's, I know the businesses are going to write checks, mm -hmm. but individuals can Venmo us and those types of things. Wow. So if they purchase, I forgot what you, we were talking about earlier, if they purchase a certain amount, they get yard signs for their business as well, Yes, correct? yes, or their home. Wow. If you purchase yeah, 13, a Quackers dozen or more, you get at least one yard sign. So wow. the more ducks you buy, the more yard, more yard signs, signs you get. Um, but yeah, so if you spend $50 on ducks, you get 13 ducks in a yard sign. Um, awesome. But you don't get to keep your ducks. The ducks stay with us because we can't take a risk of no ducks mm -hmm. showing up, and we can't take the risk of ducks going missing. Right. And they're also not real ducks, as we've no. already said. They're not real. They're not real. They are rubber ducks, so they yes. can be stored in a storage unit if need be. Yes, and a question <laughs> I get is, well, how are you going to tell whose duck's whose? Because they all look the same. Mm -hmm. And so what we're going to do is we have a spreadsheet. We have mm -hmm. a, a Google Doc spreadsheet that has your name, your business name, however you purchase the ducks. And so, like, our IT guy at the county bought the mm -hmm. very first duck. So he's duck number one. Mm -hmm. And so it has his name. It has... <laughs> And it has one duck. And so right. then the next person is duck two through however many. Mm -hmm. And then, so you, they're all numbered right. and they're on the spreadsheet. So we'll have the spreadsheet there that mm -hmm. day. And then the last play, so what do you get if you win? Yeah. You very important. Very important. <laughs> um, in the state of Tennessee, if you sell chances, it's considered gambling. So we're not mm -hmm. doing that. Um, mm -hmm. You get to win a trophy. It's going to be a big trophy. It's going to have a rubber duck on top mm -hmm. of it. And you're going to have your business, your name engraved on it. And you want to be the first business or first individual to ever win the duck trophy. Yes. Uh, we're also doing this in the school system. And the school oh, wow. system will have their own trophy. Wow. It'll go to the school that mm -hmm. wins. That's and awesome. so we're working right now. Um, we have several schools on board. And so we're working on getting the rest of them on board. Wow. And last place mm -hmm. gets the Ugly Ducklin mm -hmm. Award. And so it'll be a rubber duck that you'll get, a bigger rubber duck that you'll get to keep all year. And mm -hmm. so these are annual. These will be annual things. So every wow. year you'll bring these back. That's awesome. And they'll go to somebody else. So even if you get last place, you still win a trophy. Mm -hmm. Even if it's not everybody's favorite, you still get a trophy. But your duck <laughs> has to cross. There you go. It, yeah, that's true. It has yes, to cross. It, it cannot get to, stuck. No, it has to cross. Yes. Anything else that we need to be aware about that? It's going to be a whole thing. So it's going to be a whole family event because awesome. we're really big about drug-free activities for yes. families. That's something that we're very behind, that mm -hmm. we're very much a part of. 
And so there's going to be games, um, different things like that. There will be food. It'll be a whole festival. And so we hope it grows every single year. And so we're very excited about the duck race on September wow. 25th. Well, I look forward to being there. I really want to be here to see these these ducks go in the river. And, and So how far are they going? Or do we know yet? We don't know yet. Okay, so that'll they're be going to they're going to dump at the bridge on mm -hmm. Fall River Road. We're going to dump them there off the bridge into Shoal Creek. Right. That is Shoal Creek, right? I think it is. I think so. I think it is. And then they're going to float down probably about halfway through Veterans Park. And wow. so we'll stop them with pool noodles. Mm -hmm. Oh, that'll be fun. Mm -hmm. So who's going to be out there? Is Trey Donovan going to be out there? I hope so. He is <laughs> now. It's on TV. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yep. So, Trey, you've been hired to do that job. Yes, so. maybe he'll watch. <laughs> so other than the fundraiser, do you have any other community events coming up? Maybe um, these lockbox days where they uh, will bring their expired medications or things? Red Ribbon Week in October. Gotcha. So we are, Red Ribbon Week is really big. Um, in the schools, we want to make it a community-wide event. We do Red Ribbons. Our grants provide Red Ribbons. We don't mm -hmm. sell the Red Ribbons. So make sure that you get a Red Ribbon for your business, for your organization. Um, and that's, if you don't know a lot about Red Ribbon, Red it's really hard. Red, That's almost as hard as Lawrence County Substance yes. Coalition. Yeah. If you don't know a whole lot about Red Ribbon Week, it's a very, very wonderful story. Mm -hmm. um, there was a law enforcement officer out west, and he was a DEA agent. He passed away mm -hmm. in the line of duty, and his community started wearing red ribbons, mm -hmm. and it spiraled from there. So now there's a whole week, Red Ribbon Week, mm -hmm. for drug um, awareness. Mm -hmm. And so we partner with the schools. We we want this to be a huge community event. Mm -hmm. And so the more community involvement there is, the better for us. That's awesome. That is and there's a drug take back day that week, yes. that Saturday. Awesome. So with that drug take back day, they where do they where do they need to go? So we it's always at WLX. Right um, here at WLX, yeah. Right here at WLX. And then we typically have one in the north end of the county and the south end of the county, and those places usually differ on where it's going to be. But it's usually in Loretto and Etheridge or Summertown. Awesome. So is there anything else you want to talk about that maybe I've missed or, or anything coming up? I don't think so. I think it's important to remember that prevention mm -hmm. work is just as important as the fast things. Um, mm -hmm. You never know when you're talking about prevention work, you never know the lives you're going to touch until... Mm -hmm their adults. Mm -hmm. And so I encourage everybody to get involved in the coalition. Um, one of our things is, is what is your why? It's a campaign that we're launching mm -hmm. here in the next couple of weeks. Awesome. Um, everybody has a why mm -hmm. for substance use disorder and addiction. And think about yourself, think about your why, think about why you would want the drugs to stop in your community. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Well, I have one more thing to announce, and I've been looking forward to this for a while, too. So, Lawrence County Substance Abuse Prevention Coalition is joining the Dave Bray Show as a premier partner, and we're so proud, Yay! along with Kids Place, and I'm hoping to add a lot more in the future, but we are so happy uh, to be a part of the coalition and um, working as a team to make sure our community is drug-free and stays that way. Yes, safe, healthy, drug-free Lawrence awesome. County. That's our vision. That is awesome. So, in a couple of days, hopefully, you can go on my website and uh, check out their page specifically. Mm -hmm. Um, along with, you can donate too at PayPal, yes. Venmo. Mm -hmm. uh, did I miss one? Nope. Just okay, good, good. I have missed Right one. checks. There you go, right checks. There we go. Buy some ducks. Yes, definitely buy some ducks. And we'll be looking forward to that fundraiser here yes. in a couple of weeks. Absolutely. I've bought 6,000 ducks. So we need to get rid of 6,000 ducks. We need to get rid of 6,000 ducks. Every year. Not just this year, every yeah, every year. Every year. All right. Well, thank you thank so you. much for joining me on the show this week. Tune in next week on Facebook, YouTube, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. Mm -hmm.